My name is Rob Farrington. Uh, Stoke City is my passion and this is my story. Granddad was the one who sort of got me into watching Stoke City. He used to take me to the ground. I sort of followed in his felt steps, and that's the way it went. As you know, how I became a Stoke City fan. He just loved Stoke City. He loved everything about him. Um, every day he'd be talking about him. There, was, there wasn't anything he didn't sort of um, talk about. What didn't involve Stoke City. So unfortunately, I wasn't old enough really to to enjoy the 1970, 1972 Cup final, uh, but obviously my granddad was there, got all the programmes, obviously got everything else. Everywhere around Stoke was packed with the bus, the open top bus, uh, and it was just a fantastic experience for him. As far as my granddad concerned, while he was in the war, he, he was captured, uh, he, was a, he drove jeeps, etc. But he was captured uh, while serving in, I think it was Italy at the time. Um, but he did escape, he managed to escape and went to hide uh, with an Italian family farmhouse where he was hiding for a while until he got recaptured, unfortunately. Um, but obviously, near to the end, he, 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 you know, he came back from the war. He, he was still in the army, so he managed to get three days dispensation so he could get out went to the registrar with my nan, got themselves married, went down to the Victoria pub, straight opposite the Victoria grounds. Uh, he had the do and everything, and then my granddad and most of the guests then went across to the, the Victoria grounds to watch Stoke play in the afternoon. Uh, and I believe it was a, a nice 3-0 win against Bradford City. So all in all, it was a, a fantastic day for him before he had to go back into the army uh, to finish his, his time in the army. How many nans and how many women would like let their husbands do that, get married and then go across the, you know, to the Stoke match uh, and finish off the day? Because I believe my nan didn't go across to the ground. I think she stayed in the pub while he went to the match with all the guests. There's one thing he always he kept on bragging to me about was the fact that when he came back, he did finally come out of the army. He only missed two matches, two home matches, while we were at the Victoria grounds, from when he came out of the army till we moved up to the, as it's now called, the Better 365 stadium. Um, so I think that in itself, you know, not only missing two home matches for all that length of time was a fantastic achievement. I don't, I, there's not many people can, can say, uh, you know, that isn't something quite remarkable. So, and I'm fortunate that it was my granddad who I grew up with, who got me into Stoke City, uh, being a Stoke City fan. Uh, and, and just the memories uh, that I've got with me, which will, which will stay with me for the rest of my life. I, I believe the tie is, quite an old one. He would have obviously um, swapped it over the years from, uh, you know, previously. But he always, always used to get dressed up to go to the match. He always wore a shirt and tie to go to the match. Uh, I only ever remember seeing him as a kid, as a teenager, wearing shirt tie uh, with his little Stoke City emblazoned on it. So he always, always got it. And he knew how much I, 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 you know, I loved it. So that's what he left to me when he passed away. So I've got all these programmes, all these match day programmes, etc. that myself and my, my brother share. The first opportunities I got, it was like, well, I've got to go. You've got to go with your granddad to go to Stoke match. What else could you do on a Saturday afternoon? It sets you on your way to being a, a true Stoke City fan. He set me off on the, on the road to being a Stoke fan. I'm still doing it, so, uh, and I never, never don't think about him when I'm at the ground. I always do think about him, especially with having all the sort of programmes and the memorabilia I've got from, from the, the old days, as you might say. Uh, we had a lot of success with the, uh, you know, under Lou McCarvey. Um, and, and I mean, what can I say? It was a fantastic time with the promotions, etc when we went on to win the Autoglass Trophy a couple of times. Um, I remember going the away match um, down to Peterborough, 
and I think it was, was it Paul Ware who scored the winner? That was the first time I've ever, ever had a migraine. I was cheering and screaming that much. You can't, look, you can't get their memories back. Them, them are there, them are ingrained into you. Um, and obviously, getting to the final, winning the final. And it was just a fantastic, fantastic experience. And to be able to go twice as well, brilliant.